Hello everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to host your own custom game Warcraft 3 lobbies. This is a fairly simple process. So the first step is to go to makemehost.com. When you load that up, you'll be presented with this page. Once you're here, punch in your Battle.net account name, so I'll use this one. Then put in a game name, so for fun let's do 1234, join, and then choose your server location. So if you're in Europe, you should choose Europe. If you're in the USA, choose the USA. And if you're not in either of those, just pick whichever is closer to you. Then pick your map. So this is whatever map you want to host. So if you want to host Stay Alive, type in Stay Alive. If you want to host Terrania, uh, type in Terrania. And yeah, so whatever you want. So I'll do 101 rounds. Uh, just pick the newest version, I suppose. So 100 rounds, version 2.91. And then just click I'm not a robot, and that's it. Click host. So if there's a queue ahead of you, then you have to wait for the queue to be done. But usually the queue is at most one to two people, so it goes by pretty quick. So if you notice, I'm position number one in the queue. So while that loads up, I'll log into Warcraft 3. So actually, let me go back a step here. Quite a few people were asking this. So to join games in Warcraft 3, all you have to do is select a region. So you can do West, East, Asia, or Europe. Um, it used to matter which one you picked. Now it really doesn't. So I'll just choose US East. Then you punch in your account name here, enter your password, and log in. So once you're here, this is really almost the last step, you just click the custom game button right here, it's the little map, and then once your lobby's up, you type in your lobby name and that's it. So conveniently my lobby finished hosting um, while I was doing that, so just type in your lobby name, 1234 join. If you don't have your map downloaded, uh, it will automatically download the map upon joining the lobby, and that's really it. So now people are able to join my lobby. Um, they probably won't because this is a terrible game name, but people could join. So now I'll show you a couple of lobby commands for your benefit, and that'll be it. So first uh, command that I like to use is ping. That tells you how much lag he, er, there is between you and the server. 50 milliseconds is pretty good. Pub, this is how you rename your lobby. So if I want to rename it to 101 rounds, join fast, I just type in that, and then that will be created after a handful of seconds. And then some other useful commands are open, close, and kick. So if I type close three, that'll close the third slot, as you can see right here. If I type open three, that'll reopen the slot. And if I type kick, I can kick someone. So right now I'm the only person in the lobby yeah, you know what, I'll kick myself. This should work. Yep, <laughs> and then it boots me out of the lobby. So now I'll show you how to rejoin your lobby. Um, you can either look through it on this list, but this can be slow and inefficient because it only shows like 20 games at a time. Or, so I'll refresh it one more time. I don't see it, so I'll just join it the fast way. So you'll notice that the lobby name automatically updated here. So just highlight that, copy it, and then paste it in. And that's it for joining the lobby. And yeah, so as far as other relevant commands go, there's unhost, and that's basically all the commands you'll need to know. And then the one last thing I'll show you guys is the make me host games list. You can get here by clicking this button or this button depending on what page you're on. And once you're here, just refresh the page so you get a current list of whatever's hosted and it shows you all the games that are currently hosted through this service and it tells you how many people are in the lobby so you'll notice I'm right here 101 rounds join fast one out of 12 people are in the lobby so just me but some other ones have say 7 out of 12 people so if I wanted the game to go uh, start quickly I could join LOTR building and that's really the gist of it so anyone can join the lobby from any region, Europe, Asia, West, um, East, and yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that helps you to host your own Warcraft 3 lobbies, and I'll see you in the next video.